So hello my friends, Devon Lennox here, Photography PX. In today's video we will cover the main highlight features and do an overview of Sony's RX100 Mark I. Do know you can find timestamps and links in the description down below as well as the pinned comment and also know this is not a sponsored video. Let's get started. Initially released in the spring of 2012, Sony's RX100 is the premium flagship that sits at the top of the Cybershot lineup and the first camera to initiate the popularity of the RX100 lineup that we know today. Sony aims this camera as a premium alternative at enthusiasts and pros looking for a capable traveling companion and at those wanting to travel light without a compromise on image quality. And it's also a camera they aim to compete with Fujifilm's X10 and Canon's G12. It features a 1 inch 20.2 megapixel Exmor R CMOS sensor and the Bion's X image processor. Comparatively, this sensor is four times larger than the 1 over 2.3 inch sensors typically found in compact cameras in this class. It also features a built-in Zeiss Vario Sonar 3.6x optical zoom lens. This lens offers a 35mm equivalent of 28mm to 100mm with a variable aperture from f1.8 to 4.9 and it also includes optical stabilization which Sony calls steady shot as well as their clear image zoom which doubles its zoom to 72 times, a 200mm equivalent. The camera also offers continuous shooting speeds of 10 frames per second without autofocus or 3 frames per second with AF, matching entry level DSLRs in this regard, and the buffer depth is also quite good at 33 JPEGs and 16 RAW images. On the video front, it shoots 1080p, full HD video up to 60 FPS in the MP4 and AVCHD formats with a respectable data rate of 28 megabits per second. And it can also output a 1080p signal for use with external recorders or monitors. Plus it obtains Sony's dual recording function, which lets you take 17 megapixel still images during movie recordings. Low light performance is also good for this class features a native ISO range from ISO 125 to 6400 which is further expandable to 25.6 and users can expect usable images up to ISO 3200 and even 6400 with minor post-processing. For focus, it uses a contrast detection based autofocusing system and overall the focusing performance is excellent and much faster than competitors in this class and it also has focus magnification and focus peaking for those who prefer manually focusing. The camera uses Sony's NPBX1 battery, which they rate for 330 shots per charge or 165 minutes of video recording. For displays, it features a fixed 2.95 inch extra fine TFT LCD with a resolution of 1.23 million dots, and the display is excellent for this class, though it lacks articulation. Physically, the camera is incredibly compact, particularly when the lens retracts into the body, making it ideal for travel and street photography. Yet, even though it looks like a typical point and shoot, it provides a far superior construction and build quality. The build quality offers a sleek and classy feel, giving the camera quite a premium feeling in hand, yet weighing only 240 grams, it's one of the smallest cameras in this category. So small it can easily fit into cargo or jacket pockets. But outside of that, it also has a dedicated zoom rocker, a built-in flash, panorama, and USB charging. In the end, Sony's RX100 Mark I was touted as the world's most powerful pocket camera during its initial release, and considering its feature set, the rumors were true. This was the camera that initiated Sony's subsequent legacy in the premium compact segment, and it redefined the concept of compact cameras altogether with its surprising high-end feature set and image quality. Sure, it looks like a typical consumer camera, but one that delivers the versatility and quality that pros demand, and it combines a host of pro features and customization in a truly compact form factor. Compared to rivals, it's simply unmatched in portability and quality, and even despite its age, it remains a very real and relevant contender today. So, there you have it, my friends. There are the highlights in the overview of Sony's RX100, for more information on the RX100 and other Sony cameras, check out our website photographypx.com. Go to our camera reviews page, then to the Sony section, and there you will see a full detailed written review, as well as other reviews of cameras that may be of interest to you. You can also look at the pinned comment in the description down below, and that will take you right to the full review as well. I've been your host, Devon Lennox. We will see you in the next video. Thank you for watching today's video. I hope you found the contents of today's video insightful and it added value to you. 
If you're new here, please consider subscribing if you haven't done so already. Also, leave us a like and a comment in the description down below. Let us know if we overlook something or we miss something that we covered in today's video. I've been your host, Devon Lennox, photography.